up? Uh, I just picked up a new electronic drum kit. Well, um, actually I picked up yesterday. Uh, the reason why I didn't make a video right away is because I had to spend 8 hours assembling this kit. Not sure why it took that long, because I read somewhere that it should only take 20 minutes. <laughs> I believe, well I'm pretty sure that they were talking about how long it would take to take out the pieces out of the packaging boxes. Okay, because check this out. That's a lot of packaging material, eh? Yeah, this drum kit uh, came in all of these boxes. Ah. And here it is, my new electronic drum kit. As you can see, it's by Roland. Um, which model though? Well, this particular model is the TD12 KXS. Okay. Pretty black and cool, eh? Perfect match for my black and cool guitar. Check it out. Like, compare it to my old kit, the uh, Yamaha DT Explorer. It's pretty styling. So we've got the styling guys over here. And then the not so styling guys over here. Yeah. Sorry, uh, P base. The reason why I, uh, why I got a new electronic drum kit is because I wanted to use a hi hat stand, uh, two crash cymbals, a ride cymbal that could do the the bell, bow and edge sounds, a snare that could do cross sticking. And uh, I wanted a cowbell. So because the Yamaha DT Explorer was not able to do any of this, I thought it was a good time to upgrade. Okay, here's another view of the Roland TD12KXS or whatever it's called. Um, okay, so the reason why I went with this particular model is because I really wanted the the Roland TD20, right? Right? Uh, who doesn't want that kit, right? But I couldn't afford it. <laughs> um, I mean, this kit I could barely afford, but I went with it anyway because it could do um, what I wanted it to do. So, like I said, I wanted um, a hi hat sound. So here we go. Yeah. Our two crash cymbals. Ride that can do the bell, bow, although, why do they sound the same here? And edge sounds. Um, a snare that can do cross sticking. And, oh, okay, no cowbell, but apparently no electronic. Drum kits come with a cowbell, so whatever. So this uh, electronic drum kit actually doesn't come with a hi-hat stand, so I had to get one extra. I decided to go with a, an Iron Cobra, um, except it's not this one. This wasn't the one I ordered. The one I ordered, which is the Iron Cobra Lever Glide hi-hat stand. Um, the store didn't have it, but it's going to come in. So in the meantime, they gave me this loner hi-hat stand, which is also in Iron Cobra, but this one is a Velo, hi, uh, Velo Glide sorry, hi-hat stand. I also decided to get a new kick pedal. Okay, So this one is the Iron Cobra Power Glide. Um, I actually, what I did here was switch up the beater. Okay. I decided to use the beater that comes with the drum kit because uh, I figured Roland must have included it for a reason, right? Am I right? So that's why I switched it out. Um, although the 
Iron Cobra beater. Looks pretty sweet. Actually reminds me of a lollipop. As you can see, I'm quite happy with this new drum kit. It has everything on my wish list, well, besides the cowbell, but I'm not going to be crying over that, right? Um, and then I also discovered some cool bonuses. For example, this kick drum here, okay? So unlike um, the Yamaha DT Explorer, I don't need to push this kick drum against the muscle. As you can see, um, I can place my kit so that I'm looking out. So I can see what the band is doing when I'm jamming, right? So I don't need to push it against the wall and face the wall. I don't need to have it on carpet or weigh it down with a box of magazines. Because um, the stand actually stops it. It does a good job too. Stopping it, um, the kick drum from sliding away when I'm using it. Okay, the another cool thing about this kit is it's not as noisy okay, as the Yamaha DT Explorer. Okay, right, check this out. The Yamaha, okay. Um, the kick, the kick pedal. It's it's so it's so loud, right? I'll just play it for you. Right. It's a lot of noise, right? It's like, yo, can you keep it down there? Hey, I'm trying to sleep, right? And then for the, go over here. The TD12, or yeah, TD12. I'm just gonna call it the TD12. Play for you. It's pretty quiet. Like, you know, sounds like I'm bouncing a tennis racket off of my knee or something. But that's pretty cool. And then also, if I can do this, uh, <laughs> The mesh. Okay. Oh, you're gonna hear that. Let me just turn that off. Mesh. 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 See, it doesn't make as much noise. And the rubber is quite soft, so it's actually not that not as noisy, not as loud. So I can drum until 3 a.m. <laughs> That contains, yeah, right. And last but not least, I got some new shoes. Okay, this was one of two shoes, two pairs of shoes I got because it was on sale. Buy one, get one, half price off. I usually practice drumming with socks, but I think I'm gonna start practicing with shoes because uh, when I play gigs. I find that my shoes will slip and slide on the kick pad. And, and I was just start sounding really horrible. Okay, so here's a quick demo of my skills, my drumming skills. Okay, this is gonna be a bit tough to do with um, a camera strapped around my neck. Do it. All right, so welcome to the new video game. Got first person drummer, and this is how it goes. 